We're moving around Michael and I's desk. So Michael is moving from Mark's office over uh, that way down to here. And I'm going to be moving from the digital area into Mark's office where Michael's desk is. So I got my monitors here and my trays all over here now. So that's that's really cool. My printer is there. So it's coming. It's here. A piece of Cora and also places for FedEx Express and UPS. I just got to put the labels up and that's it. And then we have a place for all of our other shipping services. Today I grabbed a green extension cord from uh, the parts room and I connected it and I'm feeding it through over to right behind my trash can so I can have my walkie here and my cell phone charger here. I've tried a lot of different things to keep this here but every time our cleaning crew comes in they always tend to rip this completely out and leave it on the floor down there. I'm assuming because they move the cords down there to vacuum. But I think by putting that extension cord there, A, it gives me more room. B, it allows me to put my walkie here instead of having to run down here. So hopefully that'll be a good improvement. It might not be on film. I don't think it is. But this press right here, when we were running some big jobs, it leaked through the screen. And down here was just a complete disaster. It's full of ink. And it's been like that for maybe a year. Well, yesterday, Chris and I, we kind of deep cleaned this press. And not only did we clean this area up pretty well, it looks pretty nice. You can't even tell that there was just giant puddles. But we also kind of scrubbed all this. There's just little ink stains everywhere. Now, granted, some of that doesn't come off. It's just kicked on there. But Illinois in particular looks fabulous compared to what it did. I got the iPad back set up. We took it away. Or, not I took it away. Somebody stole it to test over there in digital, but we ordered another one that Vision is now using. Well, anyways, I set this back up here, and I actually ran a charging cable down here through this little pipe here and into the charger right here. So this way, the iPad can charge, and then there can also be a phone charger here, too, for people who really need to charge their phones. So in our never-ending struggle to make our shop more lean, one of our values is making things kindergarten simple. So one of the things that we've been working on the past couple weeks is getting this new conveyor belt on the coder and getting it lined up and tensioning it correctly. And I've noticed everybody has had to like figure out which way the vice grips need to move, the screw needs to move in order to affect the bracket. So. I just printed out some quick little labels, put some arrows to indicate which way it goes, put them on both sides so you can walk up, you know what you need to do. Hopefully it just makes it a little bit quicker. Magnets. Done. 